As Dom heads off saying something about putting a magazine together, Mark becomes incredible shooter Andy Crow's wingman as they head off after another abuser of crops, rabbits. Mark is letting Andy have a play with his new setup, a Browning 1.7 HMR with a Swarovski scope. Yeah, we've got a Swarovski uh, ZI6, uh, so it's got illuminated, luminous reticle. You can um, make it brighter and dimmer as you go along, or have it switched off. I've used it off the last 10-15 minutes. Parallax adjustable. It's got um, ballistic turrets, so obviously if you've got a 308 or something with a big drop in it, you can zero it at 100, 200 and 300 yards so you can uh, move the dial around. Obviously on a 1.7 it's flat shooting so we haven't done that. Uh, and we've got a Browning uh, T-bolt. Uh, it's got two 10-shot um, mags which is, obviously makes things easier if you're in a bit of a hurry. Uh, accurate out to 100, 120 yards. Um, very sweet shooting rifle. We've got Hornaday ammo through this rifle, that's what it liked. Um, and we're away killing rabbits. You, you do this as a profession, really. So, you know, is it something you would quite happily take that unit out and uh, and use it and abuse it? Yeah, I'd definitely use this, um, especially when you get to January, February time, and the, and your rabbits won't sit yeah. any closer than 80, 90 yards. You you almost have to have one of these. Make sure you get your truck or buggy, whatever it is, kitted out like this, so you can rest your elbow. Um, and if you can't get a steady rest there's no yeah, point being able to shoot out to 100 yards if you're not steady the other thing you'll need is a really decent scope because obviously the, the cheaper scopes uh, don't give you the clarity out out at, out at range i was going to say about the scopes because the, the the more expensive the glassware it usually gives you the sort of extra time at the end of the day with your stalking or whatever but when you're lamping obviously you've got the beam kicking out there i mean what difference does that make into a decent with a decent scope I, I prefer decent scopes on my rifles because you can use a dimmer lamp. Too many people use far too bright a lamp, which scares the rabbits. You can use a dimmer one, they can't see it. Um, even if you've got a red filter on, they will still have some element of white light, which they can see. They can't see red, but they can see white. So have it as dim as possible and put some money into your scope and get a better quality scope. Um, and you can see the rabbit just as clearly with a better scope and lower light. As with many farmers, rabbit control is an integral part of Andy's life. For him, it makes financial sense. It's a job, really. I have to do it. Because um, the rabbit's eating the corn, so it is a job. It's a job I enjoy doing, don't get me wrong. But, um, yeah, it does. The rabbits I shoot, um, it, is, it pays for my, my pigeon shooting, because uh, the cartridges a pigeon pigeons I get 20 pence each for and the cartridge is about 25 26 p so um, that's why the rabbits pay for the pigeon shooting but um, when I'm shooting as few as this at, at a time it's not paying for the pigeon shooting so but the deer help out as well so um, it's a balancing act isn't it? It is yeah. This evening's operation involves Mark lighting the way, Andy clearing the way and Andy's son also called Andy, tidying away. Many rabbit controllers use a 2-2, but both Mark and Andy think the 1.7 HMR is best for this sort of shooting, even though the ammo is more expensive. Mark uses a 2-2 most of the time for rabbits. I used to use 2-2 all the time. Um, we used to keep on top, well, we never used to keep right on top of the rabbits, we used to struggle a bit. Um, but then everyone said, I'll oh, get a 1-7, got a 1-7, and that's the reason we haven't got many rabbits. You can get to within 70, 80 yards and they start to run, but with this you can shoot them out to 100 yards, comfortable. If they're on the crops, I'll shoot, shoot them anywhere. With the 1.7 you can shoot them anywhere, um, from the mid, midway, up front, they're not going anywhere, you're going to kill them. To me, the, the 1.7 is just bad news for a rabbit, but good news for me. The farm is not overrun with rabbits, but Andy has to keep on top of them, going out a couple of times a week. Mark is an experienced rabbit shooter, but he and Andy are always learning. I, I, I love being out rabbiting. I like seeing how other people do it. Um, I think the worst thing you can do is have your own methods, even if they're successful, um, and not listen to how other people do it and see how they do it. 
Um, I normally shoot 2.2 and night vision, uh, but there are times when that won't work, so you need to go back over to 1.7 um, and lamps. We've been out for a couple of hours and we've got 40 plus rabbits. The guys clean them before we get back to the yard. Mark fires up the chiller and the rabbits are stacked in trays ready for the game dealer. It won't be long before the next delivery. These animals have a habit of reappearing even when pursued by quality shots.